one more time. Seven to three. Piece of cake needs to get back into the kitchen at this point. Uh, they got a seven to three uh, deficit to try to pull together weird monkeys. Our, uh, well, we got ourselves a tie game here. Finally, my ping settles in. And uh, this time, Weird Monkeys is hurting. We've got Go Link down to 26 health. And we'll take a look. We've got. Uh, they are trying to chase down. Yes! Uh, they are doing quite well here. They've got players with about 160 health. That's going to make the job of Go Link very difficult with 26 health and make it zero as a uh, piece of cake. It's on the board once more. 7 to 4 is the round count. And it looks like piece of cake. Uh, trying to collect at the cave room, but it looks like uh, the weird monkeys uh, have decided that that is their tree and they are swinging from the branches as they enjoy a one man up advantage. With Raiden going down, that will give uh, the final uh, the final resting place. Oh, one on one situation. We got Husk. Husk uh, gonna face off long range with rails. He's, he's contemplating rockets. And we'll take a look. A beautiful uh, combo move by Golink. He will land a rocket to get a little bit of splash and then follow up with a rail to finish off his opponent. That will give a four round lead. Golink starting out. So you can see on my screen there, he just gets swarmed by all the LG work. Now we got ZSX trying to use plasma. He's down. And over to everyone. He's sitting at 165 health out of all that. And we have an even uh, kill count here, though. Two and two. Eight to four, round advantage for the weird monkeys. We got everyone backing off. He doesn't have a teammate anywhere nearby because uh, Day, um, yeah, uh, his teammate was just killed. And Day is moving up strong with the LG. Alex executes everyone, and we are looking at an eight to five round game between these two teams. This is the finals. This is the second map. Piece of Cake took the first map. Right now, Weird Monkeys looking like they want to extend this thing to at least a third round. Because they enjoy a three round lead. And oh, it looks like though, we're about to see this thing go into two games unless something miraculous can happen for CRV. He does have a bit of uh, um, uh, health left though. So we got a two in one situation. It is possible for him to come out with the, with the win at the end of this round. Let's see how he does it. Be very quiet here. I don't want to give up his position just yet. He's peeking around, looking for an LG. Interesting weapon choice. He's going to go for a rail. He dodges one. Uh, I'm smelling a teammate coming up behind him. No, there will be no piece of cake teammate coming up behind CRV. He RJs across the chasm and he's moving, moving very quickly here, making a lot of noise. Uh, but I don't think he's too worried about that. He's going to use a portal for a friend. And I think he just heard a portal spawn for the other team. And uh, so that's going to give a clue as to where that opponent will be. Yeah, he pulls down Day. It is now a one-on-one -on -one situation. We're going to go take a look. His opponent, oh wow, Husk has 17 health. They spot each other and CRV will not get the rail. Will not get the rail. It's going to be Husk getting a beautiful squared rail straight on the chest of CRV. Pulling his team up within two rounds. That was a great move there. Um, CRV getting shafted by Husk at the very start of this thing. Husk is not done pumping damage into CRV. CRV goes down. We got a, a three on three situation here. And we've got everyone backing off with 10 health. And not able to escape ZSX's LG. ZSX down to 7 health himself. And um, the slight advantage at this point is going to Weird Monkeys. Oh no, excuse me. Uh, reverse that. It has just gone to. Um, the uh, piece of cake boys as they turn that around and get several frags in a row to finish off the round. Eight to seven. This thing is now within one round. We're looking at Raven sitting in between uh, a couple of the weird guys and uh, the battle again will all take place at the cave room. Raven just waiting to take his shot. And uh, look at that. We have an ace by piece of cake. They have tied this game. They are coming back, and this thing is going to be over in two rounds for either team. I am loving it. This is what we like to see right here on Quake Live TV. We've got CRV getting sandwiched. He drops down. We got a quick LG work and advantage going to Piece of Cake. They've now pulled down two. Now pulled down three. Gonna go for the fourth. Gonna try to get the shotty kill. Able one dodging back and forth. Able to get rocket after rocket after rocket into his opponent, and we have ourselves a two-on-one situation, and it's gonna be. Uh, Sensei having to pull down two of the piece of cake guys. 
He's gonna start with NHSB. NHSB missing rails. ZSX coming up behind him. He's down to six health. And it looks like Piece of Cake is making a comeback here. They have uh, one round left to go before they walk away with all the kittens here, folks. I could say something really cheesy like, do they have the ingredients? Anyway, I won't do it. Uh, two and two, man up situation. We've got CSX. Uh, wow, look at that. Piece of cake coming back from a huge deficit and they will win. They will win the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Piece of cake. It wasn't a piece of cake for them. Uh, the weird monkeys definitely made it uh, one hell of a fight. But uh, they will come out victorious. They've earned themselves a little bit of cash. And they are the fanatic clannering of 5v5 play cup finalists. GG's right there. Congratulations. Piece of cake coming out on top. I'm hoping we can get a couple of these guys in for the uh, post-game show. A fantastic job there by Piece of Cake to come back. Stick with their strategy and uh, turn that one around. Well done. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, who's this? Sensei. All right. Man, uh, that was that was a rough game. Beautiful game. Uh, yeah, kinda. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed with the way we played and uh, the lack of, uh, you know, cohesion. The the way we spread too much. We didn't stick together enough, and uh, of course we would lose uh, the battle this way. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a, a tough match. But you guys, when you, you were starting to to bring it back. Uh, in the end there, but uh, I mean, a piece of cake was able to just to uh, come out on top. Well, I think uh, stress got to us. <laughs> and oh yeah, yeah. The fact that we was gonna win the map, yes, we started to play less and less well, and um, well, Puck uh, really deserved uh, their win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, um, describe, uh, I'm guessing you guys were either on TeamSpeak or Ventrilo. Uh, what kind of uh, chatter did you have going? Uh, was, was, uh, was the team chat kind of, did that kind of get uh, hurried and frustrated? We, we didn't have uh, much going. Uh, we're a pretty new team and uh, we don't have a uh, lot of habits together. Uh, we usually uh, set things up uh, before a game. And, uh, in game, uh, for now, it's mostly uh, information. Uh, what what's going on with the enemy? What uh, we are doing, uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. I guess it was on Trinity. It seemed like uh, a piece of cake really kind of uh, took the wind out of your sails. What uh, what kind of chatter was going on in between rounds? Because uh, it seemed like you did uh, quite solidly on the second map, uh, but just couldn't come out with the win. Well, we were we were trying to communicate on the what was it what they were doing because of course they were trying to find ways to get back in the game, and they did, and uh, we were trying to counter that, but we <laughs> alas we failed. <laughs> yeah. Now on on the uh, on the first map on Trinity, it seemed like both teams really wanted to hold uh, that area around the lightning gun spawn, uh, and it. It didn't seem to really work out for for the Weird Monkey Boys. Um, was there discussion about maybe changing up that strategy, stop uh, trying to kind of push that area? Because it seemed like uh, Piece of Cake was able to, you know, they were able to keep um, you know, keep focused on on that area, and they were able to dominate uh, and hold it. Well, basically, no. We when this happens, we try to fix what uh, goes wrong rather than uh, changing uh, area and starting camping. We try okay. to get a hold of uh, uh, what we need to do to, um, uh, well, to take back uh, the domination of the, of the area. Okay, I, I see. Okay. So, um, so basically, that was sort of your, your strategy was to hold that area and, and either hold it or get it back. Uh, you didn't really have another area to kind of fall back to and try to get the uh, the opposing team to have to come out of their comfort zone. Okay. Well, we, we do have uh, the possibility to change uh, area. We, we know how to do that. Uh, everyone knows how to do that. But uh, right. the point is really to be the strongest team, not 
to win by uh, camping. No. So, so you, you so basically, uh, you feel that 